What's up guys, welcome to the next video and everything I've said there in the last video is true. You guys believe what you want to believe and that's it. Don't fuck what everybody else thinks, don't let people get you down. <sighs> Listen to the uh, the motivation video of Walt Smith in it and you see a bit of Muhammad Ali in it with the t-shirt I'm wearing right now. My sister bought me it. And I like Ali and she got me it. And just look it up that song and you hear Arnold saying and Wolf Smith, but Muhammad Ali and that there. And it's just a video of them and Arnold saying and all. Always achieving yourselves and always believe in yourselves. Fuck what everybody else thinks more likely. Guys I am twenty two years of age and I get treated the way I think I get treated sometimes like people don't see me understand that I am at that age you know one day they're gonna wake up and smell the coffee and they're not even gonna have an answer for me because I could just fire one at anybody and they're not even be able to answer back they probably will trying to get out of their guilt and shout and all that there and try to get be friends with me again but pff, they only get one chance for me you know if it's my family they would only get a few chances because to be honest guys you know you are going to get people in life that will come at you you know with things like about for example, Michael Jackson, people thought he was a pedophile, child molester, even knowing that he was not guilty, but people haven't still opened their eyes to see that, which are too blind to see it, because he was found in 2005 to trial, not guilty. If he was guilty, yes, people will call him pedophile, that's, you know what I mean? But he wasn't guilty. He was not guilty. Sorry guys, did I say that right? He was not guilty. Sorry guys, I'm saying this wrong. <laughs> Michael Jackson was not guilty. People still claim that he is. I don't know guys. You know what I mean? I'm just going by the news and the website. In 2005, the trial, Michael Jackson was found not guilty. If he had done it, if they had that much claims and all that there, he would have been found guilty. But he wasn't. Jesus Christ, guys. You know, like... People... I don't know why... People would say things and even knowing that they're not right. Like, like guys, like... Trust me, you know... There's so much I can say and boost off about myself and what I have. But I don't do that. And if I want to, I will. You know what I mean? Because other people do it. And that's why other people do it back. Because it's lagging each other. But when you do that, people can come back and say to you a lot worse. Even knowing that you weren't expecting that. But you always have a good one to head back at them. Because you guys don't seem to understand that you guys are something. You're not just something that was on the street or something out there. You know what I mean? You guys are something and you guys should always believe in yourselves and always look forward to the future. You know? Even if you've lost your loved ones or anybody, it fucking sucks. It sucks. And there's nothing you can do to hold them again, to talk to them again, to laugh at her again. <sighs> guys, a lot of people would see me and not think I would think of those things, but I do. You know, guys, you just have to fucking make the most that you got in this world. This is now 2016, guys, you know, and we're coming into 2017 soon. And my future starts here. My bad past is in the, f in the past. My future starts here, and everybody knows that. 2016. 2015 was alright, but 2016 has been a 
brilliant year. A magnificent year. An awesome, amazing year I have ever had in my life. 2015 and back then, 2014 and out there was a bit hard for me at the time. But I'm settled, I'm doing well, and I'm going to stay that way. And anybody comes up about me being bad from years ago and all, we all done bad things, a lot of bad things, unforgivable things, and we've all been forgiven. Because I've been forgiven back in back in the past of bad things I've done. You know what I mean? And I've regret that and I I I'm on medication for it. I don't time. Not in jail. <laughs> don't worry about that. I went to hospital and I got the right treatment. Two months I was there. I could have went nuts. I could have broke my way out if I had to, but I didn't. I stayed there for two months and I got the help I needed. Or I would have taken the whole fucking hospital to guard the fucking door. Because guys, it was hard at first, but I did it. I exceed and I did it. I got the help, I got the right medication, I got out and I've been good since that. And anybody that says to me that I haven't, then say it to my face and I'll have the right answer and I'll be able to answer back. Because I have been great since day one since I came out of hospital. And that was years ago. You know? And the people were nice, the nurses were nice, the doctors were nice, the staff was nice. Everything about it was nice. I actually liked it, I could have stayed for an hour month. Because I actually liked the staff there and they were really good to me. They looked after me. And I was I was getting that used to it. I didn't want to come home because I was that used to it. It was like my own home. And I didn't really want to come home. Like, as time went on, I kind of thought to myself, am I going home? I have done this. I have beaten this. I am going home. And I was like, I couldn't care about going home. I just, I, you just get used to it. It's like you're home and you don't want to come home. I mean, two months is not a long time, but guys, it was for me because I was there and I needed that help. I was really sick when I lost my dad at the time and that's what triggered my illness enough. And I know what, I know what's what triggered my illness off because since my dad died, I've been real pain in the backside, you know? And my family might not like me saying that, but I have. I've been a bad bastard and everybody's been a bad bastard, but I've been a bad bastard. You know what I mean? And I've done bad things, unforgivable things, things that people wouldn't forgive you, but people have forgiven me and I appreciate that. And not many people would do that. Believe me. Because I've seen worse. I have seen worse. And believe me guys, life is not easy. I have been through the wars. Stroll down my videos. It's been about four, six or seven, seven months now, eight months, when I was really bad with my depression. The videos are there. Just go down my YouTube videos and you will see them. I was really bad. I was really, really depressed. I was really, really bad. And I was just out of control. I was just grieving over my dad. I wasn't on no depressant tablets. And since they've been on my depressant tablets, they have helped me since then. And it's been nearly a year now since since then. You know, six, seven months ago, almost a year. And I've been great since then. You know what I mean? And the depressing tablets do work because the proof when they had it on the news that they are working for people. And I'm here to witness it, this, to give people proof that it does work. So if anybody is going through depression or anything, you know what I hear, guys? A lot of people will look at you and wouldn't think that there was nothing wrong with you. But there is. There always is something wrong with somebody. There always is a worry. But other people don't seem to notice that. And that's what really annoys me. Some people don't know when to lay back and just leave you alone. That's why I have to just take it one day at a time. Same routine. Every fucking day. Every day, guys. Ignore the people who try to annoy you. Ignore them. Just say, do one. If anybody tries to annoy you in any way and you think it's not right, just say do one. Don't say go away, don't shout at them, don't do anything. 
Just say, do one. Go away. That's it. And it'll annoy them more. And then they'll try to change their fucking act to try and get in you again. Of another way. But people shouldn't do it because people have Ill people have illness and people need to understand to lay back and leave you alone. People try to fucking me in many ways, but it doesn't work. You know? A lot of people can be very ridiculous sometimes, the way they get on. Stupid and pathetic and outrageous. But they don't know when to quit. <laughs> they don't know when to quit. You know what I say to myself, guys? I said to myself, when I was 19, basically, I didn't really want to live no more. I didn't want to live no more. I kept saying to myself, this is it. I've had my life. My life is done. Because I was very depressed back then, and I was very bad back then. A lot of people knew, a lot of people didn't. And I just kept saying to myself, 2019. I'm not going any higher. 19 is it. Because once you're 20, you're a man and you're a young adult and things change. And I don't want to carry on because I'm new, being, at that, being 20, and me coming into a young adult, things would change. And they did. And I'm now 22. And I'm still here. <laughs> know what I mean? And I'm doing well. And I said to myself back then when I was 19 that I basically didn't want to live no more, I didn't want to be here. And doctors and people keep saying to me, would, you, would I have any harm or harm in myself? No. What for? Let myself down? Let my family down? My friends down? People who love me, people who I love? Let the world down? Especially let my mom down? No. Who would have been there for my mom? Nobody. She would have been living on her own. It's only me and my mum here. And I would never leave her. And she would never leave me. And I really appreciate that. What I have left in this world. And guys, you know, I'm still here. And back then, when I was 19, four or three years ago, I didn't really want to be here. And now, having said that, I'm glad I am here because I'm really enjoying life. I've settled down and I'm doing really well. I know this video is about me, but it's gonna be called Michael Jackson anyway because I want my subscribers to know about me and my Michael Jackson videos. But all my subscribers watch my Michael Jackson videos, so everybody's gonna be watching, you know what I mean? And everybody's gonna be watching this video. And I wanna say one thing, and it's gonna be coming up in the next video about the illness, all that illness, what people have. So, there's going to be a third video after this. Okay, guys? And guys, listen. I am missing my dad. I was thinking of him tonight. And I just, like, Jesus Christ. You know, he would have been here if he wouldn't have had cancer. My dad would have been here if he hadn't had cancer. He would have been here right, right now. Sitting here right now, with, like you always did with me. Like many, not many people knew that. I have my secrets of me and my dad, and I don't tell people that they're between me. Will I ever tell those people that? What I had of those secrets of me and my dad? No. I know I'm only at the same one there that he used to sit with me and all and do things with me. But there's a few more other things that people should have knew about me and my dad, but I haven't told them, and I don't think I ever will. That's just between me and me and my dad. Father and son moment. I remember that's father and son moment. When my dad wasn't well and I was worried about him. And me and him just talked together. And very emotional time. Me and just me and him at the time. Oh. It was amazing. And that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying nothing else. Guys, you know I've had some good times with my dad, and I had a couple of more. And I had a couple of years, at, a couple of years with him, and I've had my last holiday with him when he wasn't well, 
and we had so much great times and so much talk and I know I'm going into much of what me and my dad did and I shouldn't be telling people because I don't want to, it's only but that's between me and my dad and and I'm only going to have to say a few things about, about me and my dad but there's, there's, there is a lot more, I know I only said a few but there is a lot more and I'm not saying no more because between me and my dad, you know. And when I think about him, and it's been nearly nine years now, and uh, it'll be nine years coming up this Christmas, 2017. So, there's not a day that goes by that you missed him. Guys, I'll see you in the next video.